ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Moonfresher Let's Plays. My name is Hecto, and today we are continuing with Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Complete Edition Hacker's Memory. Episode 64, I believe. And last time, Cthulhu graced our screens yet again, as he does in each Let's Play I, I undertake for some reason. Ah, uh, yeah. Some Eldritch Incarnation that stands before us, and we have to take it down as always. Who oh boy! KSK surely has his work cut out for him. Anyways, before we jump into this uh, surely delectable encounter, I have to apologize to you, ladies and gents at home. I was really, really sick for the last, like, 10 days. I had coronavirus yet again, so... Yeah, I apologize for the delay with this episode right here. Uh, yeah, probably took took me longer than it should have, but I was in no condition to, to record anything with my voice being kind of scuffed. I don't know if you hear it, but it's not really at 100% yet either. But yeah, let's jump right in and... Try to take Arkadimon down. Texture field, I don't like that. Immediate dot, but we sh should have multi heals. Anyways, for those of you who are curious, there was some debate in the comments whether or not Arkadimon's first phase uh, used God Matrix quickly or slowly. Some people were saying that that God Matrix came out for them like in turn three or so. But for me, because I had to replay it right before this re very re recording, it took seven turns again just for Arcadimon to use God Matrix to end the fight. So first off, speed break. Mega Gargomon is good for something. And what do you have? Speed charge. But only a singular one, not a field. Oh, that kind of sucks. In that case... Do a mirror reflection first. And maybe I'll swap Mega Gargomon out for... My Magna Garudamon. But first, Holy Light should be super effective now. Oh, respectable. Okay, you change, please, to... Wait, speed charges here, yes. But who had intelligence? Mental charge had... Metal Garurumon had it, but uh, Metal Garurumon is weak, so... We'll have to do with the speed charge for now, I think. Okay. You know Holy Light as well, that is appreciated. Oh, and Marine Anjimon gets roughly the same damage numbers as Magna Dramon. That is heartening. Speed charge. Means slow and steady wins the race, right? Seems like Arkadimon has a lot of HP. Crit charge, maybe? At least it doesn't do much to us. Hey, at least a combo. If that combo crits? Ah, oh, it did not. <laughs> but then it would have been pretty substantial. Okay, what do we have? I could do Saint Knuckle or... Maybe Starlight Velocity? How much does it do? Not much. Hmm. Oh, Texture Field yet again. Luckily I stocked up on... on my multi-recoveries. Okay, Holy Light. 
Seems we have a pretty good rotation going on here. Maybe I should swap Magna Gururumon out. Wait, did Examon have a field? Nah, only an attack charge field. It doesn't really help me. Lucimon had nothing either. No, it does not. Hmm. Yeah, then let's just put Metal Gururumon on the field and, and hope that it won't be targeted immediately. Excitement? What is that? Attack buff and defense down. Okay. I can handle it. We always like a good defense down on our enemies. Great. Okay, now mental charge. Oh no! I think that's bye bye for Metal Garurumon. Ouch. Yep. Can't really do anything about it. Okay. You, Holy Light. And Marina Angemon, you sadly have to swap for... Uh, I guess, yeah, my... Oh no, Grand Rackmon! Totally took Grand Rackmon. We still have Eye of Gorgon in our back pocket. I totally forgot about that. Then Marine Angemon can do Ocean Love. Heals HP for all battle Digimon and removes all abnormal statuses. No, we don't need that. Oh, maybe I should use Aura with Manga Dramon then. Kind of a waste because of the mental charge. Okay, I have Gorgon. Ah, at least the defense down got through. Well, Crusher shouldn't do anything to us. Great. And now X Aura. Great. This is going swimmingly. Erika's little assist with the, with the Eater Orbs really work wonders. Oh no! Okay, what now? You could just try stacking it. Maybe it works. Now, holy lights. Good, good. Oh, does excitement mean we'll do God Matrix next again? Maybe. Light again. Hmm. Yes, it does. Okay. So, pro tip when it uses excitement, it will use God Matrix immediately okay. afterwards. Which took up Magna Gurumon, surprisingly. Okay. Didn't expect that. I thought it could tank one. Hmm. In that case. Examon. Ouch, yeah. You have to do Exora again. Okay. I love the constant SP heal. I mean, it makes the battles take longer, but... And I think it's Marine Angemon's special skill. Yeah. 
This should be in the bag momentarily. Oh, another Dark Matrix, okay. I guess Exelon won't be getting any XP. It's trying really hard to survive. Maybe I should just focus it down. Oh god, a miss. Okay, final... Final hit? Maybe? Yes, great! Nice! Oh, and a memory up DX! Lovely! So, let's look and see... Is that really it? Be gone! Hey, look! Oh, it's Abed Ramon and Ryuji! Yay! Clearly, they were the only ones to survive in there. For some reason, all the other Digimon. All the other Digimon and people that got slurped up. Yeah, they, they, they clearly aren't important enough. Lot armor. But I'm not complaining. It's Ryuji's Digimon! And kept him safe inside the Arcadimon! Ryuji! Erika. Welcome back! Dot dot dot! Hey, there you are! I've been looking for you! What? Is that Ryuji? Are you hurt? I'll get you to the ambulance. This time, do as I say and come with me. Otherwise, I won't hesitate to arrest you. You can explain everything later. We did it! Cue for Erika to drop out of the team again? Yep, there she goes! Erika! Erika! We can't really keep our numbers up like this! Oh no! She lost her jacket! What the hell is going on? Hey, leave her alone! I mean, that's what you get for playing with eaters, but uh... Hey, take it easy! My Etobits went crazy when Erika lost control! I can't get access anymore! They've assimilated Erika! I can't get through to her! No, no, no! What can I do? Uh, 
Okay. Calm down, Hacker Digimon. Think what Erika would do. The Vanguard wouldn't panic about this. I am the future Vanguard! LOL. You heard it here first. The Wormon plays ranked on League of Legends. The Vanguard should keep a cool head at all times and evaluate the situation calmly. First, we need to check on Erika. Hmm, check on her? Let's get to the memory server. If we can access it, maybe we can make contact with her even though she's been assimilated. Really? Does that work? Because she still has a connection to the memory server and the Eaters should probably be able to infiltrate from that. Like, pretty much immediately. I mean, maybe she managed to cut her connection just before? Because then it would be like, yeah, the Eaters are trying to eat an empty shell that really doesn't have anything nutritious for them. There is no data there, right? So... Yeah. In that case, maybe Erika's still safe. What do you mean, take care of Ryuji? Where are you going? Hey! I'm sorry for the voice crack, as I said. My, My vocal cords aren't up to par yet. Why don't they ever listen? Okay, first, what is this sparkly? Ryuji memory number two. It drove me uh, into this boss fight earlier. Oh, oh, some new peeps here. Never seen those before. And bye bye, Exomon, yet again. Neptune Mon. Okay. It looks kind of chonky on the bottom half. Maybe it digivolves from Plesiomon or Wamon, maybe? Yeah, it looks kind of related to them, but it's a bit too chonky for my taste on the bottom half. And the top half, yeah, it's a pretty much a generic, generic uh, Aqua Warrior type. But, but I like the Trident because it's not not the usual kind of trident, it's more like, you know, one of those poker things you use for cheese cubes on a fo at a fondue? Yeah, kind of one of like, like those in, in Super Sized. Hmm, let's look at him from behind, yeah. Very chunky boy. Okay, and who are you? Merukimon. Hmm, probably a Garurumon variant, but a pretty cool one. Looks really savage and jungle-y. And I like the little little knife it has in one of its one of its paws. Yeah, pretty sick design. Definitely my favorite of the two. Anyways, fire tornado it is. Change you for Mirage Galgamon. Who is immediately put at the top of the turn order because of its incredible speed and nuked. Okay. Pop quiz, which equipment increases the EXP you get from battle? I know that, it's the tactician USB. Hey yo. Nothing new here. Oh no, those are all new, right? OMG. Hey, off to the digital world with my buds. 
We're bringing back lots of memories. I'm going to help my friends. Don't forget that omelette promise. Like I said, I'm going to help my friends. Look after Ryuji and Shitose for me. Okay, yeah, they are off to face their final boss. Hmm. Okay, should probably get out of here, but... Was there something over here? I never went, went over here, I think. Huh. Can I talk to you? No, I cannot. Okay, then let's go over here. You know what the Merukimon design also reminds me of? Monster Hunter. Isn't it totally a Monster Hunter armor? So maybe Merukimon doesn't belong to Garuruma, but actually to the Gabumon line. Since it's wearing skins. Right? I mean, there is a human face inside of the mask. Hmm. Something to think about, but this is totally a Monster Hunter type design. Anyways, the encounter rate here is nothing short of insanity. Oh, okay, it's just on the way to the map. Appreciate it. Hmm, then... To the memory server, where would I even go? Central hospital? Or just from Eden? I mean, it's probably a good idea to look at the central hospital anyways. Not just to restock a bit. Oh god, lag. Where are my multi-recoveries? Oh no, she only has the normal one. I need to go to Akihabara to get the other one. Arg. But also to check on... Side quests. Hey, Warman is even here. Quick! Let's get to Erika's memory server. We have to get in touch with her. Okay. Then let's hit in. And... Nothing new here. Great. <laughs> Would have been kind of a little bit tone deaf to be... Uh, to be going on side quest at this juncture. Oh boy! She did not manage to cut off. <laughs> the connection. Wow! The whole place is crawling with eaters! <laughs> it must be because they've assimilated Erika? <laughs> I can't get through to her on this floor. <laughs> Let's keep going. There might still be an area they haven't reached yet. Oh, back here. C coolest area in this Let's Play. There we go. Wait, can't accelerate. Cannot heal my Digimon, which means I probably won't need them. Anything here? No. Can't really click at anything. Back, back to the bedroom. I love this. <laughs> Aw, how cute. I love the art style. Ouchie, ouch. I 
think the eaters are eating a little bit more than... Or maybe it's her memory of of the accident where they lost her hers and Ryuji's parents. Yeah, there's a lot of metal debris in the background. Okay, she says things like, I'm hurt, I'm cold, brother, where's mother, and stuff like that. And why? But going by that little animation, I think... I think Erika was pretty young when she lost her parents. Okay, she says something like she has to work alone, or maybe she's talking about Ryuji working alone. And that she's sorry, and that she codes from 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 her bed, which would coincide with the picture here. And that she's afraid to die, just like dad. Okay, uh, I'm not that good at Japanese, but some of those buzzwords I can hear hear out from from the background. Yeah, I think Erika is represented by Memetan here. And yeah, let's look where these cute critters will take us next. Uh, or not, maybe I should uh, stop the first half of the episode right here. Anyways, ladies and gents. On that uh, uplifting image, uh, I hope I'll see you in part two, where we will delve deeper into Erika's psyche and hopefully save her. Until then, I guess.